Oh no. You monster. Oh. We hate to see it, bro. Pulled his wings out in the middle of the city. Incredible. Well, what do we do with what, what do we do with him? Team up and attack? No, something better. We should take him with us. Oh, she she a she an insect human too. Okay. Back to our school. Based on the miniseries Jungle Juice 2007 by Inwan Yun and Kyung Gil Yang. One of this episode contains depictions of self harm. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh, self harm? Oh no. What? What just happened? The girl was falling and he saved her. He's flying. Are those wings? He had a pair of wings hidden away. And he's not just flying right now. He's hovering. Mui Hui, your head is bleeding. Gosh, she's out cold. She's out cold. What kind of insect can you can do such a thing? Why that little? I've never flown before, but it feels natural. N no, get back here. There's only one insect that, that can fly that well. The dragonfly. Jungle Juice must have given him that the DNA of a dragonfly. Where's the nearest hospital? Ah, I can see the pains of the jaw kicking in again. Dragonfly meat. Bro, why does his tongue look like that? That is fucking disgusting, bro. Sounds tasty. Whew, well that was hard. Do you have any idea the kind of trouble you've caused? Running around the city and killing innocent people? Not to mention all the sighting videos people posted on MeTube? Do you think we wouldn't come for you after all that? The world can't know about our existence. We have to stay invisible. One month later. Man, I can't believe the semester is almost over. Hey, what are you watching? Are you still watching clips of that movie theater incident? People say these wings look like dragonfly wings. Seriously though? How could there be an actual person with real bug, wing bug wings on their body? That's a monster, not a person. I can't stop watching these clips cause the guy looks exactly like Su Chun, Su Chun Jang. Damn son, he's right over there. The rumor spread like wildfire on campus and soon as, pic as soon as pictures from that day hit the internet, I have expected the police to come looking for me. Fortunately, movie theater of Bugman reveal his hoax. Nothing but the facts. Wow. How do you, how is it a hoax? When people actually saw it, like did they go and men and black people and just be like, pshew. You didn't see a bug, bro. Nah, 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 you didn't. Whatever you saw, that's a lie. No one seemed to think it was real. People don't really take this kind of freak news seriously. But still, it's happening all over again. Happy birthday to you, 12 years ago. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday there, Jun Woo. What are they gonna do? What's he about to do? Happy birthday to you. Is he is he just gonna sit there in the fucking kids? Why don't we sing for Suchan now? It's his birthday too. But why? We're not close with him. Damn, bro. Damn. But you're all friends, so you should be nice. But Suchan never brings presents for anyone else for anyone else these days. For anyone else's birthday. Shh, my mom said we're not supposed to talk about it. Because Suchan is poor. And he would, and he has no mom and dad. All right, so Suchan about to have a terrible backstory as we're about to see. Then and now, it's the same story. All I wanted was to have friends. But if you're labeled as different from everyone else, you're not even allowed the simple joys of life. I don't know what I did to end up this way. I don't know why I'm so different from everybody else. The fuck? What the fuck, what do you want? Whoa, the guy just wants to know if you really do have wings on your back. Dang, son. Dang, they were like, we just want to know if it was true. Like, we just want to know, son. Jeez, take it easy. Damn it, I would have had him if he if he hadn't caught me. I bet I bet you it's him. Did you did you get a peek? That's crazy, bro. They're acting like I'm some kind of circus freak now. We all hung out a month ago. I used to I used to hang out with them all the time at school. Shu Chan Jang used to be the most popular guy on campus. He's gone now. Well, shit. May as well just give myself up to the police at this rate. Alone again. Damn, son. I haven't even checked my social media for a while. Maybe that'll cheer me up. I lost most of my followers. Wow. Like that? There's a rumor that the authorities are investigating everyone connected to the guy in the video. I guess they don't want to get dragged into any trouble. Whatever. I don't care how many of them abandoned me. I'm fine. I still have Mihui. Mihui has been in the hospital ever since she fainted that day. But I heard she finally woke up today. We're gonna be okay. If you ever feel like you need someone to help, I hope I, I hope you I hope that you could learn to share the load with me. Oh man. Alright. I I'm a
I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna guess the unfortunate end, the unfortunate, what's, what's probably gonna happen to Suchan right now when he sees Li Hui, and I do not want it to happen, but I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and guess. He's gonna see Mi Hui, and either A, she's gonna have amnesia from the whole incident, or B, she's gonna, she's gonna, she's gonna remember the wings and be grossed out and grossed out and be like, sorry, bro, like, you had me in the first half, but them wings, bro, it's the wings for me. And then she's gonna be like, don't ever talk to me again. And yeah. Yeah, I don't want, I don't want it to happen, but I'm guessing it from now. Mi, Mi Hui is all that I need. As long as I, as long as I have her by my side. Ah! G get away from me! The fuck? Mi, Mi Hui, what's going on? You can't be in here. It's me, Mi Hui, it's me, Mi Hui, it's Su-chan. But she was such a nice person. She cared more about me than anyone I ever knew. She, she wouldn't. P please, don't, don't ever come to see me ever again. Oh, God. Oh, no. You monster. Oh, we hate to see it, bro. You hate to see it, bro. Oh, no. Son. It's all over. All because of these wings. These goddamn wings. Oh, shit, no. He's gonna pull a fucking Archangel from X-Men. Don't do it, bro. I'll get rid of them for good. Do it. Cut them. Okay, thank God. Damn, bro, but this, this sucks. This is pain. This is pain right here. Even in this moment, I'm too scared of the pain. How can I be so pathetic? Shit, one month later. So you'll meet us at the, at the bar later? Not again, come on everyone else will be there. Humans gather in social groups. In every group of animals living together, there's always an individual that doesn't fit in. These individuals naturally become isolated from the group and generally tend to reach the same end. Bro, he's gonna, oh God, death. Well, at least my mind will finally be at ease. This is never the answer, bro. This is never the answer. I can't go on like this. I can't stand the pain anymore. I can't even do it. It won't even let me kill myself. He's cursed. Wow, that's amazing. Oh shit. I wish I had a pair of those. Your wings. Oh, sh what the fuck? Spider-Man? She's on the building. She said, fuck gravity, I stand on shit. What the hell? H who is she? When did she get here? Or rather, how is she clinging to the wall like that? But isn't, but isn't a little silly to, but isn't it a little silly, silly, silly to fall and die when you have a pair of wings on you? Do you hate your wings that much? What if I told you there's a way to become a normal human being again? The fuck? Would that interest you? Be normal again? Is it actually possible? Those antennae on her head. She must be like me. But first, could we go inside and talk here where it's warm? Jeez, I thought, it, I thought I'd freeze to death. Free, eh, freeze to death. What? So, how can I go back to being normal again? Beats me. Dude! You have to fulfill some, some of the requirements. First, you should, be, you should come for, the, for an interview at my school. The professor will explain everything himself once you're there. Professor at college? She wants me to go to a college interview? The school bus is waiting outside the building. You could probably meet him today if you get on that bus with me. Why should I trust you? That pit, that praying mantis got try, got, guy tried to kill me. If you don't believe me, then get back to falling off the building. Seems pointless with the wings, but... But if you take a chance and come with me, I promise you won't be alone anymore. Fine. I can't say that I fully trust her just yet, but it's not like I have anywhere else to go. You remember the bu this bug spray, don't you? That's jungle juice. It combines a bug's DNA with the DNA of the human host. Bro, who's responsible for putting this out on the market? Like, who's the one? Who's the asshole? It was popular for a time because it supposedly, it supposedly could kill any type of bug with just one spray. But the problem was that the DNA of the bug you killed get mixed into the nearest human's body. Just like your wings for the praying mantis's arms. A part of the human body transforms into the bug's features. But why would anyone with such an awful... Really, I, I really don't know. We don't know which company made the product or who was be who was behind it all. 
All we found so far was the name of their bankrupt dis distributor, and the fact that a considerable number of random people have been infected by this bug spray. Jesus, son. But how? How come no one's even heard of such a, such a big conspiracy like this? I can't find anything online. Because... We, we deleted all the evidence. We? We're here. Um, what's going on? We're still in the middle of a tunnel. Do you know where, the bu where they build these tunnels? Through mountains? We don't like being out in the front of the world. That's why we're always living in hiding. We live in a world of our own. Our very own college town. Oh, shit! Very own college- Yo! This is kinda cool! The Nest. Nest Campus. This is a college? I can't believe this is hidden behind a mountain. And those people are all... I couldn't believe my eyes. Oh shit. Bug people! It was a jungle unlike any other. I can't believe how many others others are like me. Is this for real? There really is a way to become normal again. It's... That dragonfly. Hey scumbag, who said you could stop and enjoy the view? You miss the outside world, do you? Like that'll ever happen. You're gonna be hooked up to the lab suits for the rest of your miserable life. Damn. Grr. The dragonfly. We meet again. How will get you? What is this place? It can't be. Are all these people also... That's right. They've all been infected by jungle juice like you. We call it a university. But it's really a haven for all people like us. But there are so many. I told you you wouldn't be alone anymore. I gotta go check in with, with the department office for a second. You're our only transfer student this semester, so... Welcome to the nest. It's like a school out of some fantasy novel. I can't believe this kind of place exists in Korea. Kids and elderly people too. It's mind-blowing, they all have insect body parts just like me. And they're not afraid to show the show it either. Huh? Is that? What the hell? I provide them with honey, and they provide me with protein. All the circle of life. Oh wow, he ate it. He's like Bear Grylls. He's like Bear Grylls. Not one normal person to be found. And what kind of bug are you? Oh shit. Ah, those are Od Odonata wings. Odonata, an, or an order of insects containing dragonflies and damselflies. Ah! So they're flexible enough to keep folded underneath your clothes. Those are a good sturdy pair of wings. So wh what are you keeping them hidden away for? Don't ever come to see me ever again, you monster. I'm only here to get rid of these useful, useless things, stupid kid. It's nice to meet you. Ness University, Practical Entomology, Professor Dohyeon Ma. Ma. I'm Dohyeon Ma, a professor at Nest. Thank you for bringing him here, Hyo Jin. I'm glad you came, Mr. Zhang. I've heard many things about you through our reports. So, this must be him. He's the professor she was talking about. Nest, Profe Nest Laboratories, Professor Ma's office. The one who knows how to make me normal again. Let's get right to it then, Mr. Zhang. I'm going to show you how you can become a normal human being again. We'll begin by viewing this video clip. That's it? Just like that? The following is footage from the graduation ceremony of our university. And that concludes the speech from this year's valedictorian. And now, we will begin the final segment of today's ceremony by presenting our top graduates with the promise of Cinderella. Cinderella? What is that? The whole head of a bug. The whole head of a bug? Kinda gross. Maybe that's champagne. The fuck? Oh, it turns them Cinderella can turn them back into a back into a human, from what I'm guessing. She changed! The thing that she drank just now, what was it? Something we stumbled upon during our research on jungle juice. We applied the same principle behind jungle, jungle juice against itself. We were able to compose decompose insect DNA in the, in the infected human body. Which means the solution can restore the human to their normal to their original normal state. We call it Cinderella. A solution to turn back to normal. This is it. This is what I need. It's exactly what I wanted. Please give me a- I'm afraid I can't do that. W why not? Cinderella isn't easy to make. It's a condensed extract compound made from jungle juice itself, which means supply is limited. While it is unfortunate, it is, it is also impossible for us to restore everyone. But if you are willing to do what it takes to acquire the solution, enroll in our school and graduate at the top of our department. Oh, wow. Interesting. It is our policy to provide one of the, only the best and the brightest students of the school with Cinderella. As was the cease, as was the case in the video I just showed you. What will it be? He wants to enroll. He, he wants me to enroll here. In order to get that cure? 
what kind of school is this? So, if only, if only the top of the class gets a solution, then I have no other choice but to enroll. You do have a choice. You can live a pretty nice life here if you don't want to enroll in Nest. You won't get Cinderella though. Even if you did want to enroll, getting top of the class isn't easy. Good thing it wasn't a matter of money. I could handle school and grades. Let's get B transferred. Hey, let's get it. Lecture building a few hours later. It's already registration today again. Whose courses are you gonna take this semester? Professor Ma, of course. I blew it last semester. That's why I have to get the right professor. My friend says professor shows liberal arts courses are pretty easy to take. This is literally what happens. This is dead what happens. People be like, you got, you got it. This is, this is how you pass. Before, I remember back when I was in college, yo, we used to go to ratemyprofessor.com and it was, it was like religion. Before, when you were, I gotta put down water bottle cut for this to explain this to y'all. It was like religion. When you were, when you were applying for your classes, right? You would, you would go and before you even talk, before you even like, talk to your to your advisor and shit you would go look up each, each professor look at look up look look up the classes that you that you think you want to take right and check each professor put their names out in um put their names on ratemyprofessor.com and you would double check it would be then people would be, would be rating them on like how easy they are how how hard they are on grades if they curve if they don't curve bro i remember there were professors out there that were like hey this person is difficult you will have no idea what they're saying but they will give you an A for no reason. I had a professor like that, it was crazy. It was insane. I I, I, I was so confused. I was lost because it was a, the class, I won't out anybody, but it was a class where I, I will say this, I will say this, did I deserve my C? Yes, I deserved my C. I barely, I didn't do much in that class. However, somebody else who also didn't do much got an A and I was like, this is bullshit. How, how the fuck? But I didn't say anything. I was like, you know what? I will take my L. I'll, I'll hold it down for the squad. I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna let you guys hold your A's even though I definitely also did not do shit and I definitely got a C. And we all agreed that we, I dead ass, we, our final was so nonsensical. My man said, the final is gonna be an open book final, right? Open book at that, in that moment, he said you could open up your laptop, you could open up whatever you want, open up your notes, whatever. Bruh, tell me how we had all of our fucking computers set up in a group chat on Facebook, talking to each other, trying to understand what the fuck was going on in the test. And we couldn't get it. That's how hard this test was. This shit was crazy, son. We were all dumbfounded and then we were like, okay, let's go to the next question. Nope. The next question? Nope. And bro, Zikachu, we Googled everything, could not find a peep. This man made all these questions off dead ass from the top of his head, and I we couldn't get we couldn't get any anything. Anything. So yeah. That that was my history with with crazy ass teachers in college. But back to jungle juice. The whole transfer process was easy enough. They seemed like normal college students. It seems like more of a proper school than I suspected. Practical entomology transfer student, Su Chen Jang. That girl was really nice and helpful th helpful through all this. What? Huh? Registration is starting soon? But I don't know which class to take. You don't even know what, what, what we study and you and you thought you could be a valedictorian? With that, valedictorian? Well, that's... Here, the requirements are already decided for you anyway. You just have to pick one of the three electives listed here and register for it. Okay. Huh? One out of three courses? What's with these strange names? Practical combat for insects. Oh shit, it really is my insect that the academ- Wow, I could not say words. My insect academia. Insect academia, that's a tongue twister. Insect academia, that's, that's what this shit is. I almost thought she gave me the wrong notebook. Understanding the nest protection, study of genetic genetically modified humans, grades on curve requires extensive expert knowledge, lots of experiments. No one gets an A last semester, no group assignments. Bro, okay, can I just say this? When teachers walked around saying, I don't give A's, I never give A's, I always sat there thinking, are you proud of yourself? Does that make you happy knowing that you don't feel like you teach your students well enough to get an A in your class? Like, does that make you proud? Do you feel good about making making students' lives harder just so that you can like look in the mirror and say, ha ha, I'm a tough professor. It's not cute. I never liked that. I never thought that was cool. I never thought that was cool. I, I I never thought that was nice. I never thought that was interesting. I always thought that you were a dickhead for saying that. All of the, every professor who said, I don't give A's out easily to me, were just people who were trying to toot their own horn. Like I didn't, I didn't like it. Like just say my class is difficult. That's it, that's it. Don't say getting an A is gonna be hard. 
don't make it seem, don't make the mission to get an A seem like the most arduous task possible because from jump, people are gonna get dissuaded. And yes, that's a way to weed people out, but like, son, no one, like, if you go, if you go, if you're going for a job, right? Do, do you want the person who's gonna be your manager to say, yo, this job is gonna be mad hard and you're gonna hate it? Okay, I'm not working for you anymore. Like, come on, son. You know what I mean? So yeah, I, I was never a fan of, oh yeah, it's mad hard to get good grades in my class. Ha ha ha, cause I'm so tough. Shut up, shut up, bro. Do better, learn how to actually teach, please. I almost thought she gave me the wrong notebook. Understanding nest protection, nest protection looks like this course is better than the others. More than half of the class gets in it got got it got A's last semester. Most mostly individual assignments, absolute grading system, most popular most popular course, no group assignments. He gives half the class A's and doesn't make them do group assignments. What is it that these people even teach? They teach you bug knowledge. Professor Ma, that's who I met earlier. I knew he seemed like a nice person. Alright then. I'm gonna register for Professor Dohian and Ma's course. Professor Dohian Ma's course. But it's strange that you have to be physically physically on campus to register for classes. Three, two, one. Everyone usually does it at, at, at an internet cafe. Maybe maybe they have really fast internet here. Oh shit, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? Is it a scorpion versus a what? He's like, what the fuck, bro? What the? Bro, do fights just happen on campus? A fight? I told you to stay out of my goddamn way, you little piece of shit. They're just fighting like this in the middle of campus? You're the one that just suddenly jumped at me, you bitch. Hi Song and, and Dohua are at it again. Yeah, finish him. I can't believe this kind of fight still happens in college. Are scorpions insects too? I guess some people never learn. Don't worry too much about them. You'll get used to it soon enough. Oh shit, she said grab. Grab, what? Throw them around. Oh, it's, it's that girl. Damn it, who the hell is it now? Just days into the new semester and you're at it again? What am I gonna do with you two? Ah, damn. The class president? Practical entomology class president, Huey Jin Park. Huey Jin Park. She's a class president? Respect. So I'm in the same department as these bees? Hey, new kid, ready for registration? How am I supposed to survive college with, with people like this? So, I like her so much better than Pink Hair Chan a while ago, so I'm happy. Time left until registration. 10 minutes. Made it just in time. I just can't shake this sh this, stare this strange feeling that I'll never have a normal college experience again. But first things first, I just have to get through this registration. Being smart isn't everything, especially if you end up with a bad schedule or, or miss all the good courses. Collegiate cycle of hell. Somebody help me, scholarships denied. Should I have four hours until my next class? Five minutes left until next class. This class is way up there. Why did I get a Why did I get a C plus, Professor? What kind of evil What kind of an evil monster built that built that thing up there? All right, okay. So I'm a hype. I'm really happy that we're reading this. That we're reading this because I get to rant about college. <laughs> As you guys know, for anyone who does not know, I was in college for six years. Yes, a long time. Um, I stayed there because it was a, it was a, it was hard to both get my classes, and it was also difficult to truly fall into what I was like. I feel like I was in the wrong major. I got into the major because I was afraid it, family reasons, but I got into the major for family. I got into the major for family reasons. I didn't like it. It was really annoying to learn everything and I just could not vibe with the classes. So like, yeah, like the, the, looking at this and seeing everything he's talking about, I'm like, bro, he's speaking facts. There are so many things behind like setting up for college making sure you're getting the classes that are like close to each other so that you don't, have, you don't have to like run to class so that you can actually be on time. Like everything, son. Like I remember this is one time and like finding the make, make it like, like, like we were talking about before, making sure you get the right professor so you don't get a crazy ass grade. I remember there's this one time where some dude got a C and like they tried to argue with the professor and the professor was like, I could just give you a D bro. And it, it sounded wrong, I know, but let's be adults here. But yes, he said, I could just give you a D, bro. And I was like, Ooh, I didn't know they could just do that shit. So yeah, professors be out here. They be out here with the violence. I don't know what, I don't know why, but they be crazy. All I know is, I understanding nest protection, Professor Dohian Ma. Mostly individual assignments, absolutely, absolute grading, most, most popular course, no group assignments. More than half the class got A's last semester. I have to get into Professor Ma's course. Ah, welcome, Professor. J Ooh, this is my this is my favorite professor right here. 
this right here. This right here. Ness University Practical Entomology, Professor D Professor Junji. So I hear we have a new transfer student. Oh, that would be Sushan Jang. I heard you. I heard you ran into him earlier. What do you think? Do you think he'll make it? I'll be. It'll be his first time doing registration after all. It'll be his first time doing registration. What does that mean? I'm only here to get rid of these useless things. Huh. Not a chance. Course registration begins. Oh, what is happening? What the? Where's everyone going all of a sudden? What about the registration? Wait a minute. Can't be. That's just how things are at this school. Beginning with registration. They must use their tactics of survival and seize the opportunity before anyone else. Oh, wow. Because in the end... Wow. Only the strong will survive. <laughs>